time, Carlo Delaney, mate. He's the he's the man. He's the man. He has always remained loyal, uh, not just to me, but no to manager, head coach, striking coach. Of course, of course. Right? Pe people, people, like we're just here to chat shit, aren't we? Aaron? This is not yeah, a sport, yeah. like. People always think like, like the grass is. This is this will be it. I know I'm always joking. But people always think like the grass is greener on the other side and like move coaches, move teams and, 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 and anything and, and one thing about Connor mate, about, through all the bullshit whatever he's done or whatever, he's still loyal to his team, he's still loyal to his manager and he's, he's never not given you an interview mate so you have to give him props for that and I've seen that before man when, when you was giving him the interview so big, big up to Connor because I try to live by the same set, like you have people in your ears and they're like you know, maybe you should, you know, should go here or do this or go with that guy or speak. And it's like, believe in the process. And Connor has definitely done that. And listen, okay, he's had a loss or two. I've had my loss or two, but he's at the top, mate. He's still at the top. You have dealings with him? Like, do you have a I'm relationship a nice with him? Alone. You have a relationship with him? Yeah, I, do you know what? For, for the first time the other day, I, I spoke to Aldi. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce his proper name. Aldi, yeah. Aldi, yeah. He seems like a nice guy. Obviously, I, I'm MTK Global Till I Die management, but uh, he seems cool. He was, you know, just chatting back and forth. He's like, yes, Till, you know, big fan of that. And I was like, it's right, mate. Good luck on the fight, whatever. Uh, he was out in uh, Dubai at the time. But no, I don't have no dealings, but I see a lot of... You, obviously, Instagram's very... It can, it's, not, it's not real, is it? But you see a lot of things what goes on. And he's with his team. He's with his manager. And he's never not give you an interview, mate. There's three things I see with what that guy's, you know what I mean? People are low, like, right now, I, I know Poirier. I get on with Poirier great. And you know what? He's a working class hero. And I would love to see him win the fight. I'd love to, like, he's a fucking, he's a great in my eyes. But just the amount of people shitting on Connor right now, it just, it just grinds me gears. And I just think I'd love to Connor just to win, just to shut all these people up and go and get that title. One, one last hurrah. Because it's just so fickle how people change in it, Ariel. It's so fickle. Like you feel like they're rooting against them in Europe. Not necessarily in Europe. Like I don't see it like that. I just see it sort of like, 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 like I don't know. Uh, like people are just looking at the last fight and then saying this guy's a bum or this guy's this. And then I like to go back in time, me, and look at not even like the. The title fights, I like to look on, like, the vibes and, like, like, you can't forget that type of shit, you know what I mean? Not a lot of people have done that, you know, so, I, I always, I, I've actually got a video on this phone now, Aaron, you remember that, do you know that a while back the Mexican fighter who was getting hit in the back of the head in boxing, do you ever remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he, he, he's, he's, he's a cabbage now, isn't he, Aaron? Like, he's, he's not okay. And I've got a video on my phone and it's so sad to see about the guy and, uh, it's like, you got to respect every man that steps in there, especially a man who's, who's, who's stepped in there and got to the top like Connor. Yeah. Is it coming home, Darren? Yeah. <laughs> not now, it's not. Fucking can't get fucking sick. It's off BT. Fuck me. Fuck me, T. Are we, are, are we like best friends now? Are we colleagues now? Let's get real. Because I am BT Ariel. Uh, I'm working for the number one... Uh, UFC broadcaster worldwide. We're not just talking UK now. We're talking I've worldwide. Got I've, got, I've got a text on my phone that's from last year that says ESPN MMA, MMA is the best show. No. What's going on, Ariel? No, no, no. no. We got, we got uh, the great Dan Hardy, the great Michael Bisping, Caroline Pierce, Adam Catterall, Nick Pete. We've got a phenomenal team. And the behind-the-scenes team is even better, if you ask me. Oh, yeah. Um, so are we, are we like, are, I mean, like, am I like an honor I mean, Englishman now? I mean, BT show me a lot, a lot, a lot of love. Like, a lot of love. They're, a lot of love. So I suppose we are colleagues, I suppose. <laughs> hey, 